date is known as Rare Disease Day across our country as thousands look to bring awareness. The same is true for one local team who continues to win on and off the field. New this morning, 10 Sports reporter Eric Johnson shares her incredible story. Or like all different years. We first introduced you to Emma Snyder in 2017 when the athletic Roanoke County 8th grader was first diagnosed with a rare autoimmune disease. Chronic recurrent multifocal osteomyelitis. Also known as CRMO, the incurable disease causes abnormal inflammation around the bones. It affected Emma's spine, sidelining her from volleyball, soccer, and basketball, leaving both emotional and physical pain. I used to be the fastest on my team on, in any sport, and I was the slowest, and I couldn't even play anymore. So that was very upsetting. She went through physical therapy and received four monthly rounds of infusion treatment at Duke University. It's not like a cure, but it still helped a lot to strengthen mainly my spine. And after then, I had an MRI of my spine, and then that, that's when they cleared me because it was gone. Emma has since been able to return to play. Now as a senior, she averaged over 20 points per game on the court for the Southwest Virginia homeschool team, leading the Conquerors to the VACA State Championship, showing more toughness than what we can see. Sometimes these flare-ups can be really bad, and other times they can be not so bad. Yeah. In many ways, again, Emma is playing through pain a lot, a lot. She perseveres through it all, not because of her love of the game, but something bigger than any win, score, or play. Definitely my relationship with um, God, just like being able to rely on him. She recalls two mission trips with her dad in India that humbled her and changed her outlook. You, you feel such, so much self-pity. You're like, oh, look at me. Like, I can't play the sport. You kind of, and then you go to a third world country and you're like, wow, like these like women have to walk an hour to a river and back yeah. carrying big jugs. The appreciation she gained led to an even bigger revelation. Sports aren't everything, but sports will always be a part of my life. And it's like, and I could use that in so many different ways to just help like everyone around me. Just as they have helped her with some key wins in her life. When I look to her, I, I, I learn lessons, even as her dad, in watching how she reacts to this. And my, I'm humbled. There's still that sobering aspect and, 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 and pride in in, in seeing her um, you know, rise up and, mm. and continue plugging along and maintain a good sportsman attitude. Mm. That was Eric Johnson reporting for us this morning. The Conquerors did go on to win the state championship, and Emma was even named MVP of that game.